Metformin, sold under the brand name Glucophage, is the third most prescribed drug worldwide, with over 98 million prescriptions being written in 2020. It is used to treat type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, and PCOS, and it can also aid in weight loss. Glucophage is sometimes referred to as a miracle drug. And while it can certainly be effective for treating the symptoms associated with these conditions, a lot of people are not made aware of the side effects when they are prescribed it. It is important to know the pros and the cons when you're deciding if metformin is right for you. And it is also helpful to know that there are natural alternatives that have been shown to be just as effective with fewer side effects. So no, this video is not made to persuade you to stop taking metformin, but rather to inform you of the risks, which unfortunately a lot of doctors glaze over when they prescribe this drug. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the six most common side effects of glucophage, aka metformin. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. I'm a certified health and nutrition coach. I post new videos twice a week here on YouTube talking all things insulin resistance, weight loss, sleep, and more. So if you're ready to take control of your metabolic health, make sure to click that subscribe button. And you can also find me on TikTok and Instagram where I share new posts every single day. Now, I think that a quick summary of what glucophage is and how it works is in order. As I said at the start of this video, the active ingredient in glucophage is metformin. Metformin is an oral prescription drug that improves how the body responds to the hormone insulin. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you've probably heard me say that type 2 diabetes, PCOS, high blood sugar, these are all caused by insulin resistance. Insulin, of course, being the hormone that shuttles excess sugar from our bloodstream to various cells throughout the body. But when we're insulin resistant, our cells stop responding to insulin correctly, and this eventually leads to high blood sugar and a type 2 diabetes diagnosis. But glucophage can help your cells to become more insulin sensitive once again, taking in this excess sugar more readily. Glucophage also reduces the amount of sugar that your liver releases. Once again, helping to control blood sugar. For women with PCOS, glucophage is also effective because the symptoms that define PCOS, which are an irregular period, high testosterone, and ovarian cysts, are all caused by insulin resistance. So yes, on the surface, glucophage sounds great, but we haven't got into the side effects yet. The number one most common side effect of glucophage is diarrhea. Studies have shown that 75% of people prescribed metformin experience this side effect. And it is the reason why 46% of people prescribed this drug stop taking it. Glucophage interferes with the body's ability to absorb and metabolize certain nutrients, two of which being vitamin B9 and vitamin B12. And when the body becomes depleted in these nutrients, this can lead to diarrhea. Now, I will say that switching to an extended release metformin as opposed to an instant one can help to relieve this symptom, but it doesn't work for everyone. The second most common symptom is bloating, and this is experienced by 25% of people who are prescribed metformin. Now, again, some of the side effects relating to digestion do go away if you switch from instant to extended release, but you can also reduce the symptom by taking it with meals or starting with a lower dose. The third most common symptom is fatigue. Once again, this is due to nutrient depletion. As I already mentioned, glucophage depletes vitamin B9 and vitamin B12, but it also depletes CoQ10. All three of these nutrients are needed to ensure that red blood cells of the right size are created in the body, and cells are able to produce energy. Without them, you're gonna feel weak and tired. Ensuring that you get enough of these nutrients in through your diet can help to reduce this symptom. And I'm going to link to some of my favorite natural supplements that can help you to replenish these nutrients in the description box down below. The fourth most common side effect is nausea. Again, this occurs in 25% of people who are prescribed this drug. Now for most people, this side effect tends to go away after a couple of weeks, but again, taking it with meals can help to reduce the symptom as well. The fifth most common side effect is low testosterone for men. This is one that men are not going to be happy to hear about. Metformin has been shown to cause a significant reduction in testosterone, which can also lead to erectile dysfunction and a low sex drive. And unfortunately, there isn't really a way to counter this side effect. 
And the sixth most common side effect is constipation. While most people who are prescribed metformin experience diarrhea, at least at the start, for some people, it goes the opposite way. Once again, this can decrease after a few weeks, but not always. But making sure you are properly hydrated and making sure you are getting enough electrolytes can help to reduce this. And FYI, most people are way under consuming electrolytes. So supplementing them can make a huge difference. I'm gonna to link to some of my favorite electrolyte supplements in the description box down below. So those are the most common side effects of glucophage or metformin. And as you probably realized, most of them are related to digestion. So to recap, you can help to reduce some of these symptoms by taking the drug with food, by supplementing certain nutrients, or from switching from an instant to an extended release version. Now, before we wrap up, I just wanna say that there are two natural supplements that have been shown to be almost, if not as effective as metformin is. These supplements are berberine and inositol. Now, I'm not gonna to talk too much about how they work in today's video. I did a video a few weeks ago talking about the best supplements for insulin resistance. In that video, I go over both of these in more detail. So if you wanna know more, I'm gonna link that video up above. But if you're interested in checking out either of them, the brand So Well Health has two really great options. Their Get So Balanced capsules include berberine and their Get So Synced capsules include two versions of inositol. I'm gonna put the link to both of those in the description box down below as well. But I really want to reiterate not to make any changes to your medication without talking to your doctor first. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you today. I wanna to hear from you in the comment section down below. Have you been prescribed glucophage? Are you currently taking it? I wanna hear about your experience. Did you experience any of these side effects? Are you still experiencing them? Did they go away? Let me know down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comment section and comments really help to support my channel. They show YouTube that you liked my video and they push it out to more people. So if you did enjoy this video, and you want to help me out, even just say hey down below. <laughs> I really appreciate it. If you did enjoy this video, you might also enjoy my video on supplements for insulin resistance, which I mentioned earlier, you can check it out here. If you wanna catch up on my most recent upload, you can find it here. And if you wanna check out my coaching programs, including my seven day insulin resistance masterclass, you can find those here. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye.